Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Robin Trader. I'm your host, Yassine. I'm not a financial expert or a professional. If you're thinking about investing in the stock market, consult one and invest at your own risk. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Getting ready for tomorrow, Monday, the big, big day, the first day of the market opening, of course. And we are going to be looking at GameStop themselves. GME is the ticker symbol. Already finishing the day or Friday with $61. I do want to give you guys a few reasons why GameStop still has a chance, of course, even without all this... Uh, uh, game of squeeze and uh, short squeeze coming up in the near future why GameStop has a big big chance to actually coming back into being you know the big boulder they are and they have been of course so uh, a little tiny investor place article does talk about a few reasons why Robin I mean um, why GameStop actually has nowhere uh, of stopping in the near future uh, it talks about how this guy right here Rich Smith wrote the monthly Fool, not all of the arguments from Citron Research fully hold up. And Citron, of course, are one of the people that are trying to take down this JME um, short squeeze or, or gain in the near future. They want it to go back down to, of course, $20. So they're the, they're, they're one of the short sellers, uh, the leaders of actually the short sellers. And it talks about how for those unfamiliar, a short squeeze happens when a rising stock price forces short sellers out of their position. When panic strikes and those sellers buy back stock, they send shares even higher. Here you have what investor place market analyst Tom Young calls a powerful feedback loop. Now, Young himself also talks about how GME stock as being a particularly relevant candidate for a short squeeze right now, 71.2 million of its shares are being sold short. That's even more than its total outstanding share count. So there's more shares being short sold then there's actually shares to be uh traded so what does this mean as young says there's no way of out for bears even if you agree with citron and left you would not be able to drive that share price back down so i i do see that big 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 jump to one thousand dollars pretty soon now what other news does gamestop have of course well you know a lot of people try to talk um, you know down GameStop saying Sony and Xbox are moving to more a disc free uh, console but a little tiny article here by inverse asks a few um, gamers if, if they choose a, um, a cheaper model of the PS5 without the disc instead of the standard edition which is a little more expensive with the disc and you know there's a bunch of people here and four out of five said that they would be happy with the PS5 standard edition and that's the one with the disk drive so there's a lot of reasons why uh, GameStop still has a chance so you know if, if people are gonna buy uh, consoles with discs of course there, there needs to be a place for them to be bought and Amazon yes is a good place but this is the next one now of course GameStop we all know you know growing young GameStop is one of the worst places to go sell your games but you know what now that we are investors of GameStop, we'll sell them our games for under the market value. Whatever they offer us, I'll give it to you for a deal, you know? So, one of their things, actually, GameStop pre-owned sales business nets them 48 cents for every $1 earned. That's a, that's a 50% margin. So, they're already making good, good money, but not also that Cohen himself, of course, our lord and savior, Cohen, also hopes to expand GameStop's online presence by offering an online trade-in system. And more game streaming services and that's what we need we just need a more of a uh, uh, an e-commerce friendly way to trade in these games because if they're already making 50% if we can cut some costs down and of course maybe raise some of these prices up for these games now there's a very, very high chance that our revenue should jump in in the near future now you might say oh but Amazon already sells games Amazon you can already buy games pre-owned and this and that but Amazon is more of a fulfillment center, more of an eBay rather than a, a salesman themselves and, and, a, and a, a buyer. Now, let me give you a company that does the same thing, but they're already jumping up uh, near a hundred dollars from a mere four dollar stock just a few years back. And yes, it's the person you go to when you can't do your homework. Chegg, 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 Chegg themselves. Now, Chegg do the same thing. I mean, yes, of course, they offer some online services here and there, but Chegg started off as a $4 stock and didn't really do much. I mean, I don't even know how this company has a market cap of $12 billion because, I mean, I know Chegg as a place to cheat and a place to sell books, of course. And Amazon literally built their company based off selling books. And here, a company like Chegg coming out, buying and selling books, 
but they do the same thing that GameStop does, except instead of games, they do it with books. And you can see here that the price of the, the stock itself has gone up more than 1,485% in the last five years and a little bit under 130 in the last year. So if a company like Chegg, you know, can come up on top when Amazon is this big, big monopoly, this big, big uh, taking over all these brick and mortar uh, stores, GameStop can easily with, with Cohen's leadership and this new um, act of investors um, by their side, they can find it easily to actually transfer into a full e-commerce or majority uh, an e-commerce store where they can buy, trade, sell, and even offer maybe like a, a rental ways. Maybe you can, you know, in Chegg you can rent games. Maybe somehow GameStop can implement some kind, some kind of rental service. So GameStop has a very, very high chance. Now, let me teach you guys a way that, you know, if you do have the big bucks, uh, not saying that I, I am, but I'm going to enter GameStop, of course, expecting these crazy gains that wall street bet redditors have been showing and a lot of these you know tweets you can see people you know making a million out of twenty thousand and um a uh, hundred million out of fifty thousand so this is how i'm gonna enter and i think if you have the capital i think this is how, how you enter and it's, it's it's a more safer way and at least it gives you a a way to at least if somehow some way these short sellers find a way to, to beat in us even though we're two million strong and, and even more you know not everybody has a reddit account not everybody has a youtube not everybody has a facebook not everybody there's probably even more of us so how do i think you should enter gamestop what i'm gonna do on on monday at least is enter the market and purchase a hundred shares now when you end when you own a hundred shares of a stock you can actually sell calls um, and earn a credit so that's what I'm gonna be doing I do this for a lot of stocks that sometimes I do believe are gonna go up but I do think that there's a chance there's a you know all stocks have risk and that's why you know there is reward there is no reward if there's no risk I mean I don't know one thing that has that of course so let's say you bought the stock in uh, at 9 a.m. on Friday so you would have paid four thousand four hundred and eighteen dollars and let's just say these are just hypothetical numbers but let's just say you did now you can actually go on trade options and sell a call. And when you sell a call, of course, on the day of Friday, you would have probably had the option to buy out of the money right on top um, and earn a big fat credit, you know, because you're, you're, you're actually selling in just a little bit, a little bit under. Now you could do that or what you could also do is using the same stocks that you are, you have, you can put them up. At a, at a closer strike price or just a little bit under maybe let's say you had the stock at $42 sell a call for 52 right and then earn a credit of maybe let's say uh, what is that 1690 of course and then buy with the, with the money that you're gonna have buy a call at a further out of the money way way like you know like how they did it go all the way up to the to the highest one you go so what you would do on let's say um, Monday coming up or let's say Thursday if you are gonna do the zero day um, expiration you would buy six thousand one hundred dollars worth of these shares a hundred shares you would go and you would sell them for of course sixty one dollars or sixty two dollars and then you would actually use that credit to buy a bunch of hundred and fifteen dollar uh, uh, strike price calls and then this gives you a way to at least being able to make some money with your strike price and make some money with your while holding some shares but also get to risk that credit into buying more of a further out of the money uh strike price and i do this with a lot of stocks that i hold um one of them like it's just a penny stock let's just say like solo um i, I did the same thing what i do is i buy the i buy the stock and then i sell a further out of the money and then sell uh, um sell a call for that of the money and then buy a call that's way past it and you could do this with GameStop and I do see you know great potential for GameStop of course and there's another stock of course that I will try to talk about in my next video uh, of course Blackberry which is a another uh, stock that you know has the chance of, of coming up on top with a bunch of short sellers uh, expecting it to you know plummet even though Blackberry has a lot of great news that I never even knew about so I hope you guys trade well on Monday I hope you guys trade well the whole week coming up and for the whole month i hope you all become millionaires and i hope uh you know i see you guys at the lambo dealership i'll see you guys on the next video